the prophets, their parents of noble descent, Abdullah and Amina, how they were blessed. But soon his dear parents were no longer there, so he lived with his grandfather under his care. The Abdul Muttalib then passed away, so he lived with his uncle right from that day. He worked as a shepherd and later began to join Abu Talib's caravan. When the caravan traded in Sham and around, they would stop near a monastery camp on the ground. The monk who lived there had seen them before, but this time was special of that he was sure. As they began to unload their supplies, Bahira the monk had such a surprise. The trees were prostrating and so were the stones. Could this be the special one, do you suppose? Bahira the monk prepared them a meal. He knew from his scriptures to look for the seal. A mark on the child on his back on the left. The sign of the prophet he wanted to check. The food was served in the shade of the tree. Call the boy, please. Call him for me. As he approached, there was one single cloud that followed the boy casting shade on the ground. The shade of the tree then covered him too, and Bahira the monk now certainly knew, for he had well studied the scriptures of old. This boy was the prophet of which they had told. A Put the lips and the boy back, save him from a Roman attack. Send him to Mecca and there you will see the coming of his great prophecy.